Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, uh, hi! Um, my name is Gemma and I make craft videos and haul videos. Um, I upload craft videos every week and haul videos here, there and everywhere I'd say. So uh, it's mainly crafts today. So today I'm going to show you five different crafts that I've got for you. Um, the first one we're going to make, you'll need four pieces of the wreath, um, just a few gold um, berries, some twine and a little bow. And for this one, to make sure my glue gun's hot, yeah. I'm I'm going to try and make a little mini mouse reef. So with so to start with, get two of them and join them together. Just twisting them. You can with this. I'm only going to do one bit, but you could do a few pieces joined together to make it a lot thicker. So there's the first bit. And then with the other two, you're just going to make two smaller circles. There's the other one. I've seen that Primark sell these. Um, they're obviously a lot bigger than what this one is. Um, I think they're for about £9. And I thought, for any Disney lovers out there. So there's that. Just make sure that... They're about the same size as the ears. Don't wanna don't need to have one one bigger ear than the other. So that's we have that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna glue it. And just hold it hold it in place just so it sticks well. Um There's one side, and then the other side. It's really miserable here today, it's so cloudy and rainy. I thought, what better way to make the day better by doing a bit of crafts. So, there. Just be careful. Don't want to glue glue to the floor. <laughs> Imagine all your fingers. Honestly, me and this glue gun always burn myself. So there's the first little bit. You can add more glue to to make it a bit more secure, or you could even. Get some, if I can find them quickly. All the stuff that I've been getting from the pound shop come on little cardboard packaging and they all have these little ties. And because they're clear, they'll probably, probably work quite well that you could give it a little bit of extra support. So can wrap it around twice and then what we can do is we can add stuff on top of it so you can't see it so that just gives it a little bit more strength and it won't be as as fiddly so we don't we don't want a ear to fall off How's everyone getting on with their Christmas shopping? I've still got to buy for family. I bought for the kids. I think children are so much easier to buy for than adults. Because normally what adults want, they just go buy it, don't they? So it's really difficult to, to figure out what people want. And then I'm just going to take some of these berries... I saw one there when I think they had, I think they're in like little poles of three. So, because mine's a bit of a smaller reef, I might just 
do a few as three and then some as one, maybe two. And here I'm just covering the top of that cable tie, would you call it kind of cable tie, I think. Um, I'll just do two that side. I'm just going to dot a few randomly around. Try and find the hole where you pulled it off so then it's not showing any white bits. That looks really pretty so far. Um, you can add some baubles on it if you want to. So say if you're doing it a little bit thicker, I think it would look quite nice with baubles on it. Um, the baubles I've got are not small enough. I could possibly paint some foam balls that I've got. Um, paint them red. And maybe dip them in some glitter. Make them... A little bit something special. I think that looks really nice. And then all I'm gonna do, take that bit. Out. Got glue all on the bow. Oh no! It's a problem with glue. You have to be careful. As soon as it goes down, it's stuck. And then all I'm gonna do before I add this on, I'm gonna cut some of. The twine and just tie that round it because then we can hide the little bit where we add it on we can hide it with the bow I'm just doing it all I always like to do a double knot on the end And then with the bow, because obviously Minnie Mouse, she does have um, white spots on her bow, doesn't she? Polka dots. So you could just get a, get a bit of paint and just dab some little dots on there. And there we have it. Lovely Minnie Mouse. Oh! <laughs> Minnie Mouse wreath. Um, this cost under one pound if I worked it out it'd probably be something like 75 pence to have made that which 75p to nine pounds I think is really good so that's the first one the second one is just a nice quick simple one I found these let me get my as we can because I know the packaging is quite loud so I've got these baubles light bulb bulbs and all I'm going to do with these is I've got some metallic beads from the pound shop I'm just going to take this off try not to spill them everywhere oh. it'd be nice if these had like a little seedy bag bit on the top because sometimes I don't think you need all that you know all with the cardboard as well like if you just had it in a sealed bag you could keep them in the bag and you wouldn't have to change them into like a plastic container or anything but like this is either going to go really well or really wrong I'm trying to maybe I'll use this That's all right, I just get the hoover out of the making mess. It's just going to take too long tipping it really gently. Ah. 
Uh, what else you could do with these is you could add some PVA glue inside, um, add some glitter, or you could add these beads and add some glue, and then it will it will go all around the edge and stick really nice. Can you see all these falling out? But we're making a right mess. But so you can either fill it all the way up or just a little bit. I'm just gonna fill it a little bit. The light's really shining, I'm like can't see it. And then to finish these off, a little bit of um this is the red and white twine. So, again, I'm just going to put it through, do that loop that we do, and tie it off. You can make the strings as long as you like, or as short as you like. And there we have it. The other one I'm going to save for... Uh, to do something different with it, but I won't do it this time. Um, so yeah, that's number two. With a big mess on the floor. <laughs> um, this next one, got it all ready in packaging so I can keep it all together. So for this one, this is one of the copper reefs. I've just wrapped it in some wool from the pound shop and also some of this star garland and that was from b and I've got three pieces of the wreath, lots of little berries, some cinnamon sticks and some orange slices and lots of pine cones. <laughs> So to start with this one, this one is going to be a table centerpiece for my friend. Um, so we're just going to put some glue on here. Hoping it might stick quite nice to this because it's water, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to stick well. You know when you have that image in your head and then it, it really doesn't go as you plan. it down. I think because they're all so um, like wired, they like to push themselves out. But if we just keep some pressure on it, there we go. More glue. I think I need to invest in some of the long, the long glue sticks because. These small ones just seem to run out so quick. I feel like I'm just filling it up every two seconds. Um, then around here. a little bit more glue there. <clears throat> I put my Christmas tree up the other day. Um, if you want to see what it looks like there are pictures of it over on Instagram at Gemma's Halls and Crafts. Um, I love I love looking at people's Christmas trees because everyone has such different different ways of putting trees up. 
and you know some people like the traditional um with me i'm quite i'm quite random because i like to make all the decorations i like to have a different amount i've got some decorations that my sister's kids made as well and they they go on the tree every year um like i say if anyone buys me like a decoration i'll make sure that I keep it for years to come because uh, I do, I look at them and think, oh that reminds me of that person and you know. So the next thing we're going to do is start adding the pine cones. Some of these have got gold spray on them, some have got silver spray on them. You can leave them plain or you can spray them completely. These are just slightly sprayed. So I'm just gonna keep dotting them all around. If any of them have got the big stems on, just slant them a little bit and then they'll stick out. Um, We've also started watching all the Christmas films. We've got Netflix, so we keep watching all the films that are all out. And my little boy bus him, it's so cute. Some of them, is like, Mummy, why are they doing that to Santa? <laughs> you know, and you just feel a bit like, mm, should we be watching this? But then he does, he understands a lot, which is good. So, and the films always turn out to, to be good. And have a happy ending. Oh. So just keep adding, adding them all around. See this bit, I'm sorry I'm not talking much, but you know when you just concentrate and you just get a bit distracted, like I really do love showing everyone how to make it and then as I'm doing it I'm like, oh, what can I say? I think sometimes like it might be easier if I like did a video, like a live stream, and then I feel like I'm talking directly to people. I know obviously once I've done this, people do see it, but yeah, just, I don't know, sometimes I think, do I sound, sound all right? So I'm just going to put that there. I think I need to get a, a smaller one. So that's all the pine cones I did. And then this bit is where you can play around with all, all the little bits that you've got. Please don't burn yourselves. gonna put in the middle of this will be one of those pillar candles that um, the pound shop sell because um, when you've got kids around you don't you 
don't want to really risk it, do you? I don't use any any Brio candles. I love I love all the the wax mounts on the electric burner. Um, <clears throat> my sister, she got me a new one. She got me the the new Jack Skellington one, which I'm so happy with. It's so nice. She's so sweet, bless her. Oh, these cinnamon sticks smell even stronger. These ones I actually got from the pound shop this time. And they actually have a really strong smell. Whereas the other lot, they, they, did, they didn't really have much of a smell. The ones I got from Asda, they, they didn't really smell as cinnamon. Whereas these, you can actually smell it. It's really nice. So here I'm just thinking where where it's gonna go just add add your little berries I'm trying to make these quick because I don't want to make the video too long for you guys because I know how difficult it is to sit down and <coughs> be able to watch like a, a half hour video without any interruptions so it's a little bit hard so and when taking these off these are from the pound shop as well just be careful because all the berries are quite stuck together and it is it is hard to to get them apart without them breaking as you can see there look it's got a little a Hopefully that's all stuck. And then we stick this on. And there we have it. Let me just pull all these hairs. That's what I call them, but they're not hairs. They're the strings from the glue. <coughs> so I'll show you this bit first. Look how pretty, just, you know, a simple centrepiece. And again, these pine cones were picked from outside. Um, <coughs> the cinnamon sticks were in a pack of ten. So let me just think, so 50. Again, this would have cost about two, under two pounds. And then with the, with the light, with the candle, sorry. So yeah, you know, these centrepieces don't have to cost you a fortune and they can look really, really nice. Um, just quickly. So the next one I'm going to show you um, is more of, it can be a gift. So I've got this this tote bag from the pound shop and all I'm gonna do is make it make it into a little cushion. So what I'm gonna do is cut these. I'm gonna fill it up and the stuff in I've got is I can't even see it, this huge bag. This is what I use for stuffing on my crochet stuff, but I thought I'd use it for this because I don't need to make it a huge fat pillow, it can just quite be a pillow that goes on the bed for my little girl. Um, they've got new ones in it at the minute and it's all the frozen stuff. Um, 
but again my pan shop's not got it in yet <coughs> so you stuff it as much as you like how thick you like cushions And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue down this thick bit here. So I just need to lay it out straight. Is that thick enough? Yeah, because it's only too thick. It's only little. <coughs> so... Careful you don't catch all the stuff in the glue because uh, my glue gun is getting so dirty from that, from, you know, bits sticking on it. So just lightly stick it. I'm not cutting the straps off just yet because I might tie them at the top and, and then cut it. So just do it little by little. then you know it's it's gonna stick well I just think you know this is just a cheap a cheap way of making your own pillows for your kids or you know even for yourselves or I've seen some people look like, put them on canvases um, on the key boxes like in the storage areas but I think this way. So what I might do is just cut it, cut them in the in the middle, and then all I'm gonna do is not get glue on the carpet. Oops. Oh no! I'm gonna have to invest in a little sheet, I think. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, so what I've done is I've just cut them and all I'm going to do is just tie them up. Make a nice little bow like that. And I think that there two little bows, you could just chop them off, you could um, keep it however you want really, but two little bows are quite nice, but pretty. And there we have it, a nice soft cushion, which so soft yeah well I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to make the video too long but so we made a cushion the centerpiece the light bulb it's like a little maraca shaker I tell you little little babies will be interested in this so if you've got one they'll just go oh just shake it for them Obviously, don't give it to them, but just shake it at them. I think my little girl, if she sees that, she will love it. And then the Minnie Mouse, which I think's turned out really cute. I really love that. So, yeah, um, just want to say thank you for watching my videos and um, please hit that subscribe button so you know when I upload my new videos. And uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!